Hello, and welcome to the next edition of BASD History with Dr. Silva. Today's question is, what teacher had the most impact on you growing up? That's an easy one, not even a close call. Most, most kids can name three or four teachers. I certainly had some excellent teachers in middle school and high school who had an effect on me. But if I had to say one, it would be William Nelson, my fourth and fifth grade teacher at the newly opened Fountain Hill Elementary School. Let me tell you why. I went to kindergarten, first, second, and third grade at the old Stevens School in Fountain Hill. A very old school, it was so old it got knocked down to build a new school in Fountain, where Fountain Hill Elementary is now, 50 years later. The uh, school, uh, when I went from third grade to fourth grade and we entered in Fount the new Fountain Hill, it was like the difference between Kansas and us. Uh, we walked in the door and there were, it was green and yellow and orange and brown, everything was open. There were you know, trees growing, there was a television studio, there was a, a full-size gym. It was like, wow, what is this? And you have to remember the first year of Fountain Hill opening, of which I have a little piece of the BASD history with Dr. Silva archives here, uh, had a philosophy about it that was expressed in this uh, celebratory uh, publication. It said, open education at Fountain Hill Elementary is characterized by openness, openness of the staff and children to new ideas and initiatives, open to time to release children and teachers uh, to explore new curriculum, open curriculum choices that allow children to pursue their interests, open space to permit children to move freely yet with responsibility, and openness of self that enables teachers uh, and students to be sensitive to and supportive of other persons. So you could tell it was like 1973, a uh, time in our American history where uh, progressive ideas were uh, uh, popular in culture and in schools, and that was the school I was entering in 1973 in fourth grade with Mr. Nelson. And Mr. Nelson was uh, quite a guy. Like he, uh, first of all, he was the first male teacher I ever had. Uh, he had the big beard, he had the longer hair, he wore sort of modern looking clothes. I didn't want to say that my kindergarten, first, second, and third grade teachers were, they were older and they were like the traditional teachers and they did a good job at teaching me reading and math and all that. But Mr. Nelson was very different. And there we were on in his room, which was next to Mr. Mazza's room, which was Mr. next to Mr. Dubbs's room. And it was all open and uh, there we were in this environment learning. And he used to make great stations. Like he would draw pictures of Fred Flintstone. He would, he would uh, write sentences on the, on the uh, centers that were lines in Beatles songs, which I always liked. Uh, there was a tub in the classroom, a, a, a freestanding porcelain tub with three inch shag carpeting on the inside. So if you got your work done early, you go sit in a tub and read a book. And he always had the best books. He always had those sports books. So imagine a nine year old me sitting in there reading about Joe Namath, hearing Beatles music and learning all this stuff in an open. And he was just so natural at, at it. He was so supportive at it. He was a very good teacher, uh, very direct. Now um, he was not no softy or anything. But what I remembered most about Mr. Nelson was that if you were his student, you really felt like you were his student, like you, he owned you and he took responsibility for you. And he had a way of making you feel special, uh, making you want to do your work. And he was beloved by his students and his parents. I'll never forget one time. It was between uh, third or fourth and fifth grade. Uh, so I finished fourth grade, had a great year with Mr. Nelson, and back then they believed in looping. So you had the teacher the next year who you had the previous year. So I, w I had him again in fifth grade. But in the summer between those two grades, my mom had to hand in some form at the main office in Fountain Hill. And so we walked up and we went, and the office was where it is right now, so we handed in whatever we needed to do. And there in the hallway, right outside the gym, by, right by where the school store is at Fountain Hill Elementary in that hallway on the, on the bottom floor, there was Mr. Nelson wearing shorts and you know sneakers and you know getting ready to move into his classroom. And my mom, who was not one for interacting with school, she was a little intimidated by school, uh, saw Mr. Nelson come over, say, Jack, how's your summer going? How's it, how is it going? I said, great, here's uh, Mr. Nelson, here's my mom. And you know, my, he started having a conversation with my mom. I was so embarrassed, oh my God, Mr. Nelson's talking to my mom. But 
I could just tell he was really trying to understand more about me and where I was coming from. And when <clears throat> my mom and I were leaving uh, and walking back home, he said, you know, she said, you know, you had a really special teacher there, Jack. And I said, yeah, I know. So when it comes to what BAS teacher had a, the most important lasting impact on me growing up, no doubt about it, it's Mr. Nelson. And I hope all of you have had a Mr. Nelson in your careers too. Drop the name of your favorite teacher in the uh, response box below so that we all can get to hear the stories about our, our best teachers. Thank you.